Hey everybody, welcome to Crady Lab. If you have a free sky diversity receiver, you know the antennas are both fragile and to be effective, they need to be held at 90 degrees to each other. And usually the best way to accomplish both is with antenna tubes. They're a cheap accessory, but I prefer to make my own and I wanted to share how I do that. The base of the antenna tubes that I'm going to make need to be bent at a 45 degree angle and I want those bends to be smooth and consistent and that requires a form. For my needs, a 10 millimeter radius is just about perfect and this little plastic cap fits the bill nicely. To hold the form in place, I'm going to use some double-sided sticky tape to secure it to the cutting mat. The tubes are made from 4 millimeter diameter polystyrene tubing from Evergreen Scale Models. This was a package of four 14 inch tubes and it sells for about three bucks. So the first thing we need to do is measure how long the finished tubes need to be. It looks like about a half inch below the bend and four and a quarter inches above the bend. So let's round that up to five inches and then add an extra inch or two to have some wiggle room to work with. When making the bends, the thing to keep in mind is the tubes require very little heat before they become soft. Apply the heat slowly, and once you feel the tube begin to give, you need to quickly place it around the form and then hold it there for several seconds until it cools. I think the finished tubes look great in natural white, but if you decide to paint them, be sure the paint is safe for polystyrene. I painted a couple of sets with two different types of fluorescent model paint from Tamiya, and both are suitable for polystyrene. The TS series paint is formulated for polycarbonate and dries very quickly, leaving a nice matte finish. The TS series paint leaves a glossy finish, but can take several hours to dry. Before painting, you'll need to prep the tubes with either a Scotch-Brite pad or 400 grit sandpaper, then finish by cleaning the tubes with alcohol. A nice finishing touch is adding plastic caps to the antenna tips, and the ones I use are 532nd vacuum caps that you can pick up on eBay or any auto supply store. That's it. Thanks for watching.